service we are introducing, this, this alliance for Dynam, um, started in 2007, actually a bit earlier, but in 2007 we received the provisional, provisional agreement uh, from the ITU to start uh, testing IAM. So what is it? Well, it all starts by creating a new global country code, it's actually uh, country code 883, um, which means that it's a new global phone number. It's not a phone number that's linked to a country, it's, an, it's, it's just a number that's global, that you can use anywhere, worldwide, um, and it creates a sort of identifier, a global identifier for the whole voice RP community. The other thing that it creates, or that we tend, it tends to create, it's a global um, free calling domain between all the voice over IP users uh, between themselves. And we want to make these numbers reachable also for the PSTN, the second phase, for a very cheap cost. It will not be free from the PSTN, but it will be very cheap. Very briefly, how will the call flow work um, with INAM? Well, you have a VoIP user here that initiates a call uh, to a certain number starting with 83. The call is routed from the originating carrier to Voxbone. Voxbone forwards the call on to the terminating carriers who in turn forwards the call to the end user. If the call originates from the PSTN, exactly the same scenario, the call is forwarded from the PSTN to Voxbone and from Voxbone to the terminating carrier and then uh, to the end user. What's the business model? Um, we provide the numbers for free to the carriers, um, for free and for life. Um, the business model, what we believe is that um, by having I know, by having all these voice RP community all connected, you create more opportunities for carriers. Um, Sheldon, we talk about netness tomorrow. This theory shows and proves that connectivity brings value. That's all what I am is about. Um, so that's one thing. The other is that whenever a call comes from the PSCN, since it's not free, there's revenue. We will share that revenue with the carriers. And then of course, um, if you think about a big community, you can think about a lot of services that can be brought to that community optional. Uh, and of course, there also will be revenue shared with the carriers. What's the challenge? The main challenge for INAM is the incumbents. Uh, of course, the incumbents, everything, something is new. They're not going to want to embrace INAM uh, from start. We know that challenge. We know that there has been similar initiatives in the past, but it was several years ago. The world has changed a lot now. Um, because of this, this power of the, of the whole work, work community, just think about it. If you, if you just enable Skype to implement INAM, how many users will be able to dial it? Hundreds of millions. If you add to that AOL, if you add to that Google, if you add to that Jaja, and all of these, you already have millions and millions of users that already create a community. And believe it or not, all the big carriers um, like that that we've talked with, they're all going to participate. So we don't care too much about incumbents. Our first step is to enable this community to enable this item on the VoIP community. The incumbents and the PSTN will be for another, another phase, probably end of, the, of this year or, or even next year. Um, just a milestone, well, it all started in August when we applied for this uh, number we reached to the ITU. It took about one year of discussions. In June, we had a provisional assignment. Um, today, we announced this number we reach here. We are negotiating, like I mentioned, this for the biggest avoid provider to implement that numbering range. Um, I cannot disclose them now because it's still in, in implementation phase. The, the official announcement will probably be made in another month or so. And then we expand the beta to uh, a bigger group of web carriers so later, probably in June somewhere. And then by end of this year, we hope to, um, to, to, to enable the island globally. Why Voxbone? I guess that's the last slide. Uh, we are a small company, but it gives us the advantage to be fast and flexible. We are a neutral company. As I mentioned, we, are, we enable carriers. We don't compete against carriers. We never sell to consumers. We only sell to carriers. So we think we are in a neutral position to create such a, such a community. Um, people know our customers, we don't know us. We have an API already for our, our current service. So it's just, we plan to extend this API to support INAM. And with that, the whole developer community can build on top of INAM using this global control code. 
Um, so it's basically just an extension of our current relationship. We have already business work providers and the service we already offer. Uh, and the numbers themselves, we provide them for free to the carrier, so hopefully they provide them for free too to the end user community.